lived a lonesome stray cat named Becky. A charcoal gray, somewhat raggedy look, but with vibrant green eyes filled with woe and longing for a place to call home. Familiar with the maze-like streets, he observed life through windowsills, yearning for the warmth of a family. He was a subject of annoyance for many who lived there, but to an aging woman, Lily, he was a companion. Despite her modest income, Lily would always save a little something from her plate for Becky. While her interaction with humans was minimal, Lily reserved a special place in her heart for the unlikely friend she had found in Becky. However, Lily fell severely ill. As the ambulance whisked her away to the hospital, she cast one last look at Becky, who was crouched on her doorstep. Her heart ached, not for herself, but for Becky, who was once again left in uncertainty. Lily requested her neighbor to place an online ad, hoping to find a suitable family for Becky. He's more than just a stray cat. He's affectionate and brings a unique presence that will certainly fill someone's home with love, wrote Lily in the ad. As days passed, the ad garnered little attention. Doubt seeped into Lily's heart as she lay in the hospital bed. She wondered whether Becky would ever find a home, or if he was condemned to a life on the streets forever. Meanwhile, Becky resumed his daily routine of exploring the streets and peeping into windows, his heart heavy with the absence of Lily. One morning, a young couple, George and Laura, spotted the ad. They had just moved to the town with their dog, Max, after a personal tragedy. The void in their hearts was massive, and their home echoed with silence. Intrigued by Lily's heartfelt appeal, they decided to meet Becky. The first encounter was less than perfect. Max was boisterous, and Becky, not accustomed to dogs, hissed and retreated. Yet something told Laura and George to try again, and they visited Becky every day for a week. Slowly but surely, Becky began to warm up to them, and even Max seemed to accept him. As Lily's health gradually improved, Laura, George, and Max visited her at the hospital. With them, they brought Becky. Laura said, Miss Lily, we wanted you to see for yourself. Becky has worked his magic on us. For the first time since we moved here, our home feels like a home. It's filled with life and sounds, and well, Max surprisingly adores him.